click, 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 click. Happy Sunday and welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a Hot Wheels Redline Red Baron. Check this little beauty out. I think we've done three Red Barons or so now on the channel. This is probably the least desirable year of Red Barons that you can get. This is in 1974, and this is right before they went to being Black Walls, so before the Red Line era ended. So I was thinking today maybe we'll do a nice version of a Red Baron, and we'll really shine this thing up and put some beautiful red paint on here. I don't know if we'll go enamel again, because I'm not really feeling the enamel. Maybe we'll do something else. The old chrome dome here is getting a little loose. All right, well, let's get this thing apart. And we will ass assess the damage. These cars are kind of a pain in the ass to restore because the helmet here, as you can see, it has a little post in the center. That actually turns into this little mushroom here. This helmet is what holds this car together in the back. And then the motor is the other one. So these two, the base and the body are kind of sandwiched in between the helmet, the motor, and the base so they're kind of a pain to put back together and it's really tough to get them really tight fitting again so hopefully we can get it tighter than what this is doing but i don't know man we'll see we'll see how this is gonna go here it's not my first rodeo and it's definitely not my first red baron so i'm sure we'll we'll manage Do, 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 do. Oh. All right, see what I mean? So now I'm gonna have to drill and tap both of these in order to get our car back together. So it's kind of, I don't know, it could be stressful as sometimes. Whoever was driving this thing last had a serious case of mud butt. Gross, we'll get that cleaned up. This was another car sent in by Redline Chris, by the way. Namaste. He is our, uh, he's our official Redline project car sponsor. He sent in a bunch of these kind of busted junkyard looking cars, and we've been slowly getting them done. A lot of them I don't have parts for, and I don't think they make parts for. <laughs> Gotta get some more Redline project cars, just for parts, even. So... That's on the to-do list. If you ever find a Red Baron that's got a white interior, those are the ones that are just worth crazy money. Crazy money, man. All right, so this is looking a little bit muddy. Ain't no problem. Jeez, the bottom of this thing is just raw, eh? No paint for this thing. Or it's got a lot of gravel miles, maybe. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this in my jar. I'm gonna drop it right in here and we're just gonna forget about it for now. And get back to that in a few minutes. We're gonna have to get all these parts cleaned up here. There's mud on everything. Mud on our inline six. Click, 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 click. A little iron cross radiator. It's kind of cool. So I should have some replacement wheels for this laying around. Maybe I will release these ones. Actually, maybe I, let me go give this a wash first and we'll have a look. Maybe these wheels are better than I think. We'll be right back. The sides don't look too bad on these wheels. So a lot of you guys might uh, resent me replacing them, but these wheels are completely roached out. Look at these things, man. They're like rotten from... <laughs> things been sitting in a farmer's field. No, thank you. Not on my Red Baron. Is it just me or does that look like it's extra juicy? This enamel is kind of resilient compared to the other stuff. That spectra flame comes off no problemo. Or this stuff, oh, it's just kind of thick. So this is probably good to go. I would like to go hit it with a, a brass wire brush and just kind of shred this stuff on there. It's kind of just gummy and I'm making a mess. This looks like a murder scene. Still a couple little scraps left on there. We hit 100,000 subscribers last night. Give yourselves a round of applause. That's pretty exciting. It's been a, it's been a few years in the making. We might still have a chance at catching Marty. I think he's sitting at 115. Marty's channel's always kind of been my, uh, my gauge, my success gauge, <laughs> back in the day anyways. I used to silently com 
compete against Marty just because, uh, you know, we had similar channels. It's been rather convenient that he hasn't been posting lately, so it gives me an opportunity to catch up. <laughs> so most of these old Red Barons, the ones from, uh, you know, the 60s, uh, the late 60s and the early 70s, those ones had Spectra Flame paint on them, which means they were using a transparent clear coat paint and they used a zinc coating to kind of give their paint some extra flash. So since this one had enamel paint on it, it actually doesn't have any zinc on it. You can tell the gray, it just doesn't look zinky. It's a little bit darker. So it'd be a little bit of a task if we wanted to do a Spectre Flame on this one, but I don't think I want to. I think I want to just mess around and do some other stuff. I'm going to put a link up here for a red line we did. I think we called it the Junkyard Baron or something like that back in the day. I made a real cool, almost gold looking one. So I'll put a link up here if you guys want to watch that video. It's kind of old. It's kind of dated. Um, I don't know how well the filming is and everything because I'm, the video is probably two years old. So Because it was still kind of getting the bearings back then. I got a wire wheelie floating in my coffee. I remember not to drink from that now. Hell yeah, man. That is looking decent. That is probably ready to go for paint. And the rest of the stuff is still kind of janky looking. For a paint job, I'm thinking today we'll go a little bit fancy. So I want to do a darker version of a Red Baron. And we're going to use Blood Red Candy. And we're going to do that over a metallic charcoal base. And I want to put this on dark. Let me go get a new coffee. And I'll take these and I'll meet you in the spray booth. And we'll get going.
All right, I went a little bit freestyle on our paint mixture while I was in the booth. I added a little bit of Dirt Track Brown to our Blood Red. It looks beautiful. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to show you guys. How's this thing looking? It's looking not bad. It's still got some scratches in it. As you can see, it's not perfect. Yeah, we'll give it some more love. I'll sand her with a little 2000 and then we'll polish again and we'll just keep doing it till I'm satisfied. I was just about to drill these. It's gonna be a little bit tricky holding on to, so I'm just gonna take my time. So that's our pilot hole. It's pretty tricky business drilling these things out, but once you uh, once you do a couple of them, you get used to it. Confidence gets up there, and that's not so scary. The first one you probably ruin. The second one you might ruin. The third one might might be a good one. So, if you're just getting into doing diecast cars, make sure to practice on ones you don't care about. It's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful pilot hole. A lot of guys ask me what tap size I use for this, and to be honest, for the three years I've been doing this, I've never once used a tap on this channel. If you're looking for the little screws that I use. You can get them at redlineshop.com, but more importantly at redlineshop.com, they will give you the sizes and the thread count of these screws so you can buy them elsewhere for cheaper. These little screws will cut threads into die cast. So these are probably ready to install. All right, are you guys ready to feast your eyes on the most beautiful red baron you've ever seen? Gleek, 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 gleek. OMG, look at that paint. So there's our red baron. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks like somebody just dipped that thing in red syrup. Look at it. What a beautiful car. It doesn't matter if you're a collector, non-collector, I think anyone would be proud to have this baby on the shelf. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you Createx for sponsoring me so I get to play with these beautiful paints all the time. I appreciate it. Namaste Createx. Namaste. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a good time working on this one. I like making little shiny beautiful treasures. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Also comment to appease the algorithm gods. I got no idea what's coming up next. I wasn't even sure I was doing this card till this very morning when I started it. So uh, yeah, I'll surprise you in a day or so. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you later. Take care. Beautiful man.